for? Uh, my name is Patrick Ritchie, and I work for Michael Pisani and Associates. Okay, and we were thank hired you. by Texas Brine to do the monitoring. Okay, the and he is going to read the geoprobe, and I'm going to get it from start to finish. While he's getting his equipment ready, I just realized this is my sister's house across the street from my lot, and I can see the crane and the bulldozers back there right behind her house. So when we're done, I'll go back in her backyard and, and see what I can get back there. I didn't realize they'd made it this close already. Can you explain, Patrick, a little bit as you're going? Sure. Um, um, and again, what we're doing is we're monitoring the, the pressure, and then I also have a couple instruments that will read the type of uh, gases and the percentages that we have. Again, just in the ambient air, basically just a uh, kind of safety device for us. And then also we have something that will hook up to the well itself while it's still closed, and it'll give us uh, additional readings. Okay. Um, and then I'll open the well up, and we'll check the depth of water water level in, inside the well. Okay. So that's basically what I'm doing. I'm just getting my equipment set up right now. Um, just so you just check even before you even open it up, you check yes, just... Okay. I'm just powering everything up, so that's what okay. all the beeps and loops are about. This monitor will read methane and H2S. It'll read H2S too, okay. H2S and methane. And I also have a personal H2S monitor in case this goes off. Again, we'll have so you're medication. double protected. Now, they have those personal monitors in my sister's house now, but they're much bigger than that. But they have clips that you can wear them. Yes, sir. Okay. So if it was leaking at all around any of those seams, that would have picked it up. It would have. It would have changed. The numbers would have changed. Okay. Open it, check, make sure, you know, see what the readings are inside. Okay. An alarm goes off over 10 LEL. Okay. And the highest number I got was 26% for LELs. Okay. And as it's open, it's lower. So since and the alarm went off, I'm going to look back up. I'm going to let it just, again, it's just, just precaution. But just that's to it, be expected since it was enclosed, correct. right? That's okay. Correct. And that's what we'll typically get when we get. Okay. So you just got to kind of let it vent for a minute. Right. Just let it. Just, again, it's, just let it. And then I'll go back and check it before I, you know, hook everything else up. Okay. To just to make sure. Now, are you smelling anything? Uh, I, as far as. The gas. Particular gases, no. No, so you're strictly going by that alarm. I'm going by the monitors, okay. yes. I use the monitors. I don't use any of my sections. Okay. Because someone told me they just came to check her in-home monitors, and they were using some kind of gas to, to make sure it worked. And she said she could smell that gas, so I guess they did something to process it to make it have a smell. I'm not familiar with okay. that. Okay, okay. 
but this this should note. have no smell. Okay. So I'll just make a note of you know the readings that I got in the well box. Again, that's that's part of the procedure. So okay. I check that. So you know, write down the highest percentage. You know, the LEL was twenty six percent. The H two S was zero. Okay. So I'll just make note of that. And again, these are the, the information that we submit to Texas Crime. Okay. Now, if there had been any H two S at all. It wouldn't have been enough to hurt you because of the the windy conditions and just just dissipating into the air, or I, I, I've never had any readings. Again, this is a personal monitor. As soon as this goes off, if this would go off, I would leave the air. Okay. But but how do you know that one that went off wasn't saying it was H two S? It reads. It shows. It shows. It's got different lines. It's got CH four oxide carbon monoxide H two S. Okay. And it reads all those. And it's, it's okay, so it was telling you it was it methane. Gives me a number. Yes, okay. So I, I, cr I record that number. Okay. Right. Okay. Yes. I was just wondering. So if it was beeping because of the LEL. That's what the alarm. Was. The LEL was okay. So that's that's what it was. And again, that's what's expected okay. From what we have been getting in most of the ones. I was just wondering what the chances of you getting a big whiff of H two S before the monitor went off. Um, I guess there's that possibility, huh? I mean, that's a risk you know you're that, taking. That's. Again, it, it, I've, you know, I've been out here since day one, and that, you know, I've always had the monitor. Okay. We've never had an issue. And I see that's good to know. So right now I'm just going to be hooking up our pressure gauge to it. Okay. okay and then I have the valve closed, so it's, it's reading the pressure that we have on the well right now. Okay. Again, we're less than one PSI right now. So I'll make note of that. And that's that's an immediate reading. You don't need yes, to wait any amount of time. It's, it, it's just a just a regular just valve, you know, that I have closed with just a pressure gauge, and it reads the pressure. So that's that's good because when they put the the well in, I think it was 13. So that means it's going down that much. From what I've been measuring, yes. It's, okay. It's, it's been lower than that. Okay. Just for safety, again, I, I keep this on at all times, and you know it's a backup for H2S or anything else. And if this alarm goes off, I check it. Okay. So again, it's, it's, I'm just going to hook this one up, and then this will read specifically what we have in the well. So I'm just going to open the valve, allow the gas in, and then start this up. Okay. Again, this also reads H2S, and then the methane is CH4. Okay. H2S is zero. The LELs are 100%, which again is what we've been getting in all of the wells. The percent methane is 71.3%, and that's what we're reading in the well right now. Okay. So I'm just going to record those those numbers.
ahead and open the well. Okay. Just want to see what that looks like down in there. Okay. So the readings you were getting were what, casing readings? I'm yeah, not understanding. Actually, this, this is all connected into the well. So I, I, at first what I did was I read what's the well box or well vault. Okay. And those were the first readings that I took and make sure those were, you, you know, um, written down. And then after that, this is actually connected to the well itself. Okay, it's just like so a side valve. a little... little uh, Quick connect. Okay. So it, it'll read what is actually in the well itself. Okay. So those last numbers I was just telling you were, were well Okay. Readings. You're just opening the well itself to just check to the check water. The water okay. Yes, yes. Okay. You're a good sport, Patrick. I, I was a high school teacher for. Uh, oh, were you? For a few years, so. Well, you're doing a great job. So if I go into a high school teacher mode. You know, I've tried to tried to understand about all this stuff, but you know, we can just absorb so much. There, there's quite a bit going on just now. <laughs> so after I open the well, I just let it wait, and, you know, just wait a few minutes, you know, before I check the water level, let the water uh, okay you know, about, balance with atmospheric pressure. Now, can you tell me what, what, what the water level, what the bearing of that is? Um, again, that, that, that's a lot of the other uh, studies that we're doing as far as water quality and, and things like that. Um, basically, taking a round of water levels at all the different wells will help us to write, uh, draw what is, what is called a potentiometric uh, map, which basically will show you which way the groundwater is flowing. Okay. So. If we take our water levels all in one day and we can measure, and we have elevations of these, we can tell which, which way the water would move or things like that. Okay. So over my head. <laughs> <laughs> Just basically elevation readings for water. Okay. The groundwater. Now, do you do, you do anything with this benchmark at all? No, ma'am, I, I, I don't do anything with that. I believe that was to be surveyed. I don't know. Because I notice all the geoprobes don't have them. That's and correct. And I'm not... When they t put this in, they didn't tell me anything about a benchmark. And uh, they said they had decided they were going to put them in all of them, and then something came up where they couldn't. So I don't even know if they do anything with that then. I, I, I believe that these were all supposed <coughs> to be surveyed, and that's what that was for. Whether or not that was done, I or is going to be done. I, I, don't, I don't know. Guess we'll find out. The, that's just a weighted it's measuring tape. It's just weighted and it'll beep as soon as it touches water. So okay. it's just graduated. It will basically a tape measure, and it'll beep when it hits okay. the water. Okay. Right at 2.01. So right at around 2 feet. 2 feet. Okay. And that's it. And that's it. Close it all up. All right. Thanks so much, Patrick. You're welcome.